New York City police continue to search for this man, seen leaving near where an SUV full of explosives was found Saturday night in Times Square. The man, believed to be in his 40s, was videotaped taking off his shirt and looking back in the direction of the SUV before walking down the street. Clearly, it was the intent of whoever did this to uh, cause mayhem to create uh, casualties. Authorities were alerted to the SUV late Saturday by a pair of T-shirt vendors. They became alarmed after seeing smoke coming out of the Nissan Pathfinder. Officials quickly got everyone out of the area. Combined effort by you know, fire department, you know, it's, it's what we do, it's, you know, this is our job. Everything happens so fast, it's not time to be scared. You just, you know, all right, time to get the people out of here, time to start a perimeter, you know, everybody back. It turned out the car bomb never went off, although authorities say if it had, it would have produced a significant fireball. The bomb was a crude concoction of many ordinary items, including fireworks, fuel, and fertilizer. Officials say an explosion would have cut the SUV in half, spraying shrapnel and metal parts throughout Times Square. The Pakistani Taliban appeared to claim responsibility for the near attack, but officials in New York say there is no evidence to support the claims. Despite that, President Obama is leaving all doors open. We're going to do what's necessary to protect the American people, to determine who's behind this potentially deadly act and to see that justice is done. Police also want to interview the owner of the SUV. It didn't have an easily visible vehicle identification number and had license plates that came from a car found in a repair shop in Connecticut. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.